Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and if you're new to the channel, welcome, everybody. Today, I'm taking a look at the Star Wars Titanium series Republic Y-Wing Starfighter, released in 2009. This ship made its first on-screen appearance in Star Wars The Clone Wars. Now, the BTLB Y-Wing Starfighter was a multi-use ship used by the Republic during the Clone Wars. In the war, it was used as a fighter, a bomber, and also a long-range vessel for scouting missions. And I think it's a very versatile ship. It's got shields, good armor, an ion cannon turret on the top, as well as an astromech. So it was really built for many different things. And that's awesome. Now for the size of this ship, we're looking at about 3 inches in size, which is very nice for a titanium series ship. So everybody should know how my videos go by now. We're going to take a quick look at the mold, the paint, put on the stand, pair it to some other vessels, and then we'll be done. So let's get moving. Alright, let's get this video started looking at the mold. Like in all my videos, I will go over all the major sections of the ship. And then we'll move on to get a closer look to see all those fine details. Now I do have to mention, this here is the generic Y-Wing. There is another version called Anakin's Y-Wing, which has a little different paint scheme, and also R2 in back instead of this generic astromech. Having said that, let's go over all the main pieces. First we have our laser cannons in the front, our canopy section, ion cannon turret, which looks pretty cool, we have our astromech droid. Back here in the main body, we have our life support system, shields, our power plant, all that good stuff is back here. We have our pylons, our ion engines, which unlike the Rebellion version, is all armored up. In the fronts, we have our sensor domes. Looking very cool. We can see the engines in the back, very nice that they're painted. For the aft section, we have all this nice detail here as well, looking good. Now we have the bottom of the craft, which we do have three sets of landing gear, which open. We'll get to that in a second. We have five screws holding it together, peg port for the stand, copyright crap, and some beautiful detailing down here. Now this section right here should be the torpedo launcher slash bomb and shoot, so that's pretty cool. For the landing gear, they just fold out like so. That's pretty cool. And they go in like that. Which is very nice. Great touch. So that covers all the major points of the Republic Y-Wing. So now let's get a close-up look to see all those fine details. Now having a closer look, we'll begin with the front and move our way to the aft. We have our laser cannons, which look very nice. They're not hollow or anything like that. But a nice representation. Moving back, we have some beautiful line work here for all the paneling. Looking good. Our astromech, which has its dome. And its two legs, which look very nice. Beautiful touch. Now, uh, back to the canopy. Every window here is recessed in, as you can see at the top one right here. And also, we have our turret. Now, the turret doesn't move or anything like that. It's very static, but it's nice they added it in. Turn it this way for all of you at home. Looking very cool. I like Y-Wings, and to be honest, the Republic version might be one of my favorites. I just love the look of it. Going back, we have lots of more panel in here. Excellent line work, as well as some ray sections. Looking very nice. I love the modules here. Especially in the center. Very nice. And nothing is flat. As you can see, it's all raised up. Looking very nice. As you can see on the pylons. Nicely detailed. Amazing stuff. Again, this was made in 2009. So, you know, there's a lot of nice details in here for the time period. Love the aft section. Look at all that. Beautiful stuff coming down the pylon here. Looking very nice. And that's the same for this side. They're identical. Looking good. Now let's check out the engines and sensor domes. The fronts, as you've come to expect, are very flat. We have a seam line here. 
But besides that, it's pretty cool. Coming back to the top, some beautiful detailing on the interior. As well as going around it. Very nice. Then we have the bottom. Coming down. We have our supports going down. Some nice recessing. And then we have all these plates covering, you know, what would be the translucent sections. So that's pretty cool. I always like the armor. We can see some nice mold and paint chip here. Excellent stuff. And that does go all the way back here. And to the sides. Look at that. Very nice. For the aft. You can see inside those engines. Look at that detail. That is amazing stuff. Very nice. It's almost like petals to a flower. Pretty cool. Now for the aft section, you can see the detailing continues. Very nice. We got our screw. More paneling. Looking at the other engine. More screws. Very nice. Love the paneling. Little modules. Check this out, the copyright crap, and then this beautiful mold in here going down the center. As you can see, it is raised up. Looking very nice. I love this ship. And real quick, I want to get a look at the sides here. Some beautiful molding going down there. And on this side, excellent stuff. Now, I don't think I mentioned it, but we do have a pilot. And a gunner in the back. So that's pretty neat. Now one last thing I want to show off. Is the landing gear. There is a little bit of detailing on there. Not much but it is there. Very heavy with the paint as well. But that's not an issue. The inside it's just die cast metal and plastic. Nothing to write home about. Pretty cool right? See a little piston there. Fantastic stuff. nice and that does it for the mold of the republic y-wing i hope i covered everything it really is a beautiful ship in my opinion it has a lot going for it so now let's take a look at the paint and now looking at that paint on the republic y-wing this baby features seven different colors first up is a nice off-white for the main color of the ship we can see it on the aft section the engines the cockpit the neck Everything, and I like the color choice here, especially on the laser cannons. Very nice. See it on the sides. The aft. The front. The bottom. It's cool. The next color up is a nice yellow. And we can see this beautiful design here next to the astromech. And as it comes down, all the paneling to the engines and our sensor domes. Very nice. On the sides, we could see it. On the bottom, it's painted. Very cool. Again, on the side. And even on the aft section, which is very nice. Now, I'm going to admit, some of the colors are done sloppy, such as the yellow. As you can see, it's bleeding over. And also the next color, which is black. For all the windows and the canopy. And also the iron cannon turret. As you can see, they are nicely painted, but a little sloppy here and there. Not extremely bad, but, you know, it kind of stands out right there. Again, very cool. Moving on, we do have silver and metallic red for the astromech. As you can see, it is very nicely painted. Dope. Moving on, we do have a maroon color for the engines. And you can see it is a little blotchy here and there. But on the whole, very nice. Now besides that maroon, we also have a nice red for the Republic symbol on the sides. So that's very cool. And that's the seven colors. But I guess we do have an extra one, which is the tan wash. Which is filling in all these nooks and crannies and really bringing the ship to life. Giving it a nice gritty look. We can see all the wash in the front here with the laser cannons. On the sides. And also on the bottom where it's a little heavy. Especially on the landing gear. Very nice. I think uh, even though it's a little sloppy here and there. 
The paint's not that bad at all for a little miniature. Very nice. So that does it for the mold as well as the paint. So now let's put this baby back on the stand and compare it to some other pieces before we conclude the video. And just like other Titanium series ships, it comes with a cool stand, which looks just like the Action Fleet stands, pegging in the port like so. And just like that, everybody, you are good to go. And now for a quick size comparison with the Star Wars Titanium series Republic Y-Wing seen in the center, we have a couple other prequel era ships from the Titanium series. First, on the right-hand side, we have the Jango Fett Slave 1, looking nice. And then finally, on the left-hand side, we have the Imperial V-Wing Starfighter, which is very cool. Expect to see reviews of these two ships coming up very soon. And that does it today for my review of the Star Wars Titanium series Republic Y-Wing Starfighter, released in 2009. 2009? Holy guacamole, <laughs> it's 2019 now. This is 10 years ago this came out. I remember getting this ship, being so happy I found it, opening it up, and placing it everywhere in my room when I used to display all my ships hardcore. And I loved it back then, and I still love it today. For the mold of this miniature, it's excellent. Everything's there that should be, from the laser cannons all the way to the recessed engines in the back. As we saw, it was very detailed. It's got the turret, the astromech, the canopy, and the retractable landing gear. That is awesome in my opinion. For the paint, I do enjoy it, but I'm gonna give it a little negative today because it is very sloppy in certain points. It's just how it is with these miniatures. Can't forget, it also does come with a nice stand to make it blend in with the rest of the collection, and I'm a big fan of that. So that's everything I have to say about this awesome looking Y Winga today. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, hit that like button, and if you'd like to see new reviews every Thursday, subscribe. Again, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everybody.